Hello fellows! Today we'll talk about mail server setup. The Innsbruck system administrator and tenant administrator are able to configure a connection to SMTP server that will be used to distribute activation and password reset emails to users. Emails are used by the platform while user creation and password reset process as well as for reporting and alarm notifications and are controlled by administrators. Tenant administrator, for example, is able to set up mail rule node to distribute alarms produced by rule engine. Let's go to practice. Outlook.com Login as system administrator. Move to profile section and change default email to our test email. Save change and change password. Sign out and sign in again with new email and password. Go to System Settings and choose the Mail Server. It's time to set up outgoing Mail Server settings. In the Mail From field, enter the mailing address from which you'll receive registration letters, password change, etc. Choose SMTP or SMTPS protocol, enter SMTP host. In our case, I use this host and enter SMTP port 587. Let's set timeout to 10,000. Enable TLS transport layer security. Cryptographic protocol designed to provide communication security over the computer network. Now populate your email username, password and save changes. Everything is set up. Let's try to send a test email. The mail was sent successfully. Zoho mail. The setup sequence is the same as for Outlook. Enter mail from, choose SMTP protocol, and enter SMTP host, smtpzoho.eu, and port 587. Set the timeout to 10,000, enable TLS, then populate username and password. Easy peasy! The mail was sent successfully. Gmail The sequence is almost the same as previous mail servers, but in order to use Gmail you need to do two extra steps. Enter mail from Choose SMTPS protocol Enter SMTP host Enter SMTP port Set the timeout to 10,000 Enable TLS Now populate your email username Password and save changes Move to your Gmail security settings. First, you need to allow Let's Secure application. The second necessary step is to allow two step verification. Enter your phone number. I'd like to get a code in a text message, then press Next and enter the verification code. It worked, now you can turn on two-step verification. Next step is to generate an application password. Although the second step is not mandatory, it's highly recommended. 
Select the application and device you want to generate the application password for. In our case, mail and Windows computer. Press Generate and copy this application password. After this step, you can use Gmail with ThinsBoard. Here is our test mail. SendGrid. For SendGrid, we'll use Gmail email account. Enter your email in mail from field. To use the SendGrid mail service, you need to choose the SMTPS protocol. SMTP host will be smtpsendgrid.net and 465 port. Timeout is default 10,000 milliseconds. Enable TLS and move to SendGrid configuration. First, you need to create SendGrid account. I already have one. Let me sign in. Here you can see my profile information, name, personal info and email. Now you can provision your SMTP Relay credentials. Please choose SMTP Relay. Once you populate the API key name and generate it, you'll be able to copy-paste this API from SendGrid to ThinsBoard mail settings form. Check. I've updated my settings box and verify your integration. In order to do this, you need to paste your API key to ThinsBoard mail settings form, save change and try to send test email. Our testing was successful. L. Outgoing mail server settings are the same as for other mail services. Enter your email, choose SMTP, type in SMTP host and port, set default timeout for 10,000, enable TLS and type your username. To get a password, we need to set up L account security. Navigate L mail, go to L account security page and click generate application password. Select the app you use from the drop down menu, in our case other applications. Enter custom name, for example ThinsBoard, click generate. Don't forget to copy your application password to a safe place. Now we can enter application password to ThinsBoard, save change and try to send test email. The mail was sent and there is our test email. Now let's move to Yahoo Mail. Outgoing mail server settings are the same as all mail ones. Choose SMTP, type in SMTP host and port, set default timeout for 10,000, enable TLS and type your username. You need to set up the Yahoo account security as well. Navigate to yahoo.com and move to Account Security field and generate application password. Select the app you use from the drop-down menu, enter custom name, for example ThinsBoard, click Generate, copy app password and paste it to password field. Save change and then send test email. done. Now you know how to connect your mail server to ThinsBoard. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.